Ten days after announcing a massive tax cut for the UK's highest earners, the Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng has bottled it. The policy designed to stimulate investment in the UK and strengthen the job market has been aborted quicker than a Chinese girl baby. After being bullied by the mainstream media and by the backstabbing trolls on their own back benches, the government have wet the bed and performed a snivelling U-turn, demonstrating to the entire world within a month of taking office that Britain is now run by spineless halfwits who completely lack the courage of their convictions. Britain is now run by a Prime Minister and Chancellor, conniving enough to get their hands on power, but too scared to do anything with it. Truss and courting. Never have two individuals holding the highest offices of state looked more like they've got absolutely no idea what they're doing. The Liberal Democrats have called for Kwasi Kwarteng to resign. But fortunately for him, no one on God's green earth gives a toss what they think. The announcement that the government are not going ahead with this tax cut comes just a few days after Trust defended it on the BBC and said it wouldn't be abandoned. Let's wish her the best of luck getting anyone to take her seriously about anything from this point on. We've seen some extraordinary things over the past three years, but it's still incredible to see a newly formed government imploding within the first month of taking office. Never before have a government left themselves dead in the water after their very first major policy announcement. Perhaps the greatest achievement of the Trust Premiership so far is that she has somehow managed to make Keir Starmer look electable by comparison, a man whose leadership qualities are about as impressive as a paraplegic's cartwheel, a man who's had almost three years as Labour leader to come up with some credible policies and yet is still somehow firing blanks. The trouble with democracy is while it gives you a choice of who to vote into government, it can't guarantee that any of the options presented to you at the ballot box will be remotely viable ones. Unfortunately, every time we have a general election in this country, all it seems to amount to is a national pick an idiot day.